YouTube Gaming closes in on Twitch, new IMAX and peripherals, and yeah, your creepy voice searches. I'm Mark Bursteiner, it's Saturday, October 17th, and this is the Buffalo Breakdown. Some fun stuff in gaming this week, so let's start right there. YouTube Gaming is getting a lot more like Twitch. Streamers on YouTube can now allow viewers to subscribe to their channel at $3.99. That's a dollar less than Twitch's subscriptions. The update also brings with it the ability to stream from an Android device, which should be pretty exciting for streamers who primarily play games like Hearthstone on their tablet. You can check out a whole lot more information over on the site, and you can also go ahead and check out YouTube Gaming for yourself. It's pretty fun stuff. One of my absolute favorite franchises of all time is getting a new multiplayer title for the 3DS, and the trailer is out this week, and it looks fantastic. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes pits you and two friends in the same style of title as one of my favorite games of the last few years, A Link Between Worlds. You'll be able to stack up on top of your friends to reach new heights and solve puzzles. If this really just is a multiplayer Link Between Worlds, I cannot wait to play it. That game was such a great spiritual successor to A Link to the Past. Just looks phenomenal. But while we're on the topic of trailers, the new Daredevil trailer gives us a glimpse at two important new characters in season two, Elektra and the Punisher. If you haven't watched the first season, do yourself a favor, go check it out. Binge watch it on Netflix, you're absolutely going to want to, trust me. Even if you're not into superheroes, it is a gripping series with phenomenal performances across the board, especially Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. All right, let's get back to phones and tech for the week. OnePlus teased us this week with the reveal for the purported OnePlus X, a budget device that they're hoping is going to pull them out of their nosedive that was the OnePlus 2. Maybe the nosedive is a little bit harsh, but I really don't think the OnePlus 2 is worth anyone's attention with the options that we have on the market right now. Maybe the X is going to change that. Of course, keep your eye on the site and right here for more details. Also this week, Apple updated their iMac line with a 4K model on that 21.5 inch device. The internals of all the models were also stealthily upgraded and the 5K iMac now supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. You can check out the site for all the details on all the new models that were released, including the information on the new line of peripherals, including the Magic Mouse, Magic Keyboard, and Magic Trackpad. Not to mention we happen to have a great hands-on with those devices, so you can go ahead and check that out for yourself as well. There's a video right here. You can bump over there if you want to see a little bit more information. Go ahead, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait right here. Finally, this isn't exactly news, but in case you didn't know, Google stores a lot of information about us. In fact, they store every single OK Google voice search that we initiate from our phones. You can find all your searches over at history.google.com, and you can get rid of them there if you want to. They're all mostly benign. It's mostly just you talking to your phone like an idiot, but it's important to know where your data is. Plus, while you're there, you can marvel at the location history on your Google account and weep about how much Google actually knows about you. That's all the news for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Leave us a little bit of a note in the comments. Let me know what stories you think are the coolest, which ones you want to see covered, and let me know what you think about the new Zelda game. I'm really excited for it. Maybe I'll play with some of you on the 3DS. As always, thank you again so much for watching. Be kind to one another, and I'll catch you in the next video.